everyone. Thanks so much for joining me here today. I'm your host, Jared Taylor. Uh, joining me is uh, Manish Shah, the founder of Purewell. Uh, you've been on in the past. We're really excited to, to have you back, except this time we're talking about how you were, you were acquired uh, earlier in, in 2022. Um, so great to have you here again. Oh, thanks for having me. Excited to, to reconnect and chat and talk about health. Love it. Well, just, just in case we have some audience that didn't check out the first episode, and if you didn't, we don't like you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's talk through, just give us a quick overview of Purewell. Yeah, absolutely. So Purewell is a digital health company that focuses on supporting patients struggling with musculoskeletal issues. And that could be kind of like a broad spectrum of, of needs that they have. Uh, we kind of take a different approach when we consider what a patient needs to overcome that pain and immobility. So some of it is helping them through physical therapy. Oftentimes it includes other aspects of health like weight management or mental health to kind of help people overcome their obstacles to getting back to living pain-free and being fully mobile uh, and kind of being who they really want to be in life. And, it, you know, when we, when we first came on the podcast, we went through, one sec, I'm going to redo that. Yeah. Did you hear my phone go off? I heard it, yeah. It went through the computer. It's not even supposed to connect to the computer. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It, yeah. I'm going to put this in my headphones. Okay. So uh, when you when you last came on, so I'm just going to make a comment. Uh, when when you look at this, uh, just cut this part out. When you look uh, when we look back, the first time we had you on the episode, we were just kind of diving into your company, and then kind of fast forward uh, after that, you were acquired by a company called uh, Bardavon Health Innovations. Can you tell us a little bit about what they do, and then maybe dive into why you thought this was such a great fit, and that you know you should move forward with this with this deal. Yeah, absolutely. So, so Bardavon has, you know, quietly in the, over the last, I think like close to 10 years, uh, based out of the Midwest in Kansas city, they've been building out a national scale network, of primarily physical therapists and occupational therapists, but they are able to serve you know, anyone in the country with uh, high quality performance based uh, physical therapy and all uh, encounters that go through the therapists in their network are documented on a singular platform. So they have all this rich data about how patients are being treated in clinics when they're seeing a therapist. And that leads to you know, better outcomes, all that can be tracked and monitored uh, by Bardavon through their data platform. I just like saying the name Bardavon. Just it rolls yeah. off the tongue, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, and I was telling you, I was learning when I, when I heard about the deal, um, you know, congratulations once again, when I heard about the deal, I was diving more into Bardavon and I, I really thought it was a pretty cool company. And then, you know, could start to see some of why it made so much sense. And then you and I were chatting before we recorded this and you gave some more details into why you liked it. Um, was it, was it an immediate, like you, you heard kind of this opportunity presented yourself and you're like, wow, this, this seems like a great fit. Uh, I think the, uh, the, the fit, like the fit between the two companies was pretty obvious from the beginning. It, you know, as any acquisition uh, or transaction uh, happens, it takes, you know, several months to, to get to close, right? Because there's lawyers involved and all kinds of uh, negotiations that have to happen. But the, the fit between the two companies was obvious immediately. So, um, and we're kind of thankful that we all got through everything that we needed to get through so that we can complete the acquisition and, and kind of combine the two companies. And, and how are things going? It's been a couple months post acquisition. How are things looking, uh, since that happened? It's been pretty great. I mean, for me as a founder, uh, one of the primary things I look for is, is my team being taken care of? And are they able to continue doing things uh, at the best of their abilities and kind of removing any obstacles or bottlenecks from them? You know, us as a smaller company, there's obviously resource constraints and whatnot, but uh, 
um, you know, I wanted to make sure that they were kind of taken care of, that they're able to kind of do the things that they're really great at. And that's definitely been true. You know, I'll say a little bit more about kind of where, uh, where we wanted to be. And then, you know, later on, maybe we could talk about what's next for us, but, you know, in our category, we were talking about this uh, just before we started uh, recording in musculoskeletal, which is what we focus on. Uh, you know, we were seeing a lot of value in helping patients with some uh, treatments that could be delivered virtually, virtual first, uh, and you know, supporting patients with this kind of unique uh, front end to care. But in musculoskeletal, A1C values or mental health, 60 to 70% of that care is going to be physical therapy. And yes, some of that can be delivered virtually, but you can't ignore the fact that uh, a healthy portion is going to have to be done in person. And so, you know, coming together with the Bardavon network and their ability to serve patients, in, you know, within like five to 10 miles of any household in America to offer that extra mile that, you know, to go that extra mile with the patient to serve them with, you know, getting a therapist with their hands on the patient to understand what's really going on, maybe even bring them into a clinic to use equipment that the patient may not have at home. That offers a completely different patient experience that, you know, we are really excited about because it could help people overcome their musculoskeletal issues faster and uh, with, much better kind of precision and expertise. And that's really, at the end of the day, what we were solving for with the acquisition. And what's what's next for the company? Uh, what are you really excited about heading into, you know, we're, we're at the, the end of 2022 already, quickly approaching. You know, what are you excited about closing out the year on? And then what excites you heading into 2023 and beyond? I mean, so we've got a lot of plans that uh, we're working on. Um, any Anytime you go through an acquisition, there's kind of a, a period of learning and exploring, right? About what's the most um, high leverage way to connect the two systems, right? Because up until the close, there's there's two different companies and now we need to become one company. So there's a lot of work that goes into the discovery process of where we can hook ourselves into their system and vice versa. So a lot of that is starting to be behind us, which I'm excited about. And now we can move forward together. Um, I mean, going forward, you know, we want to deliver on this pretty grand mission of doing this hybrid model of care delivery where we can serve patients 24 seven with a digital uh, experience, virtual care for uh, when they need to talk to somebody live, as well as in person, whether it's at home or in the clinic and have all of that care be rendered in one platform seamlessly so that for the patient, it feels like one is an extension of the other, right? They may start a program at home on their phone digitally, but then if they're having issues or they're struggling, they can easily be set up for an in-clinic visit with a high quality therapist that already knows what they've been doing and knows where they've struggled. And it doesn't have to be the patient, you know, rehashing everything that they've already done or doing things again in a redundant manner. All of it can be done seamlessly and frictionlessly uh, for the patient. That's the way, you know, we all want care to happen. And it doesn't happen this way because, you know, the way the healthcare system that we have is so disconnected and fragmented. But I think we have an opportunity now to serve patients in this kind of multimodal manner and make it feel like one uh, comprehensive care experience. And that's, that's really important to us. Well, it'll be interesting to see, you know, how the, the integration, how the company continues to grow uh, post acquisition on, on both ends, right? To see how both uh, organizations mm -hmm. do. And I'm really excited to, to meet up with you in person at uh, HLTH. That's going to be fun in Vegas. Yeah, likewise. We'll, uh, we'll give them a shout out here because they sure. do a great job with their events. Um, and we're, you know, lucky enough to be a, a media partner of theirs. So 
look forward to seeing you there. We'll be we'll be doing some more content, and uh, let's let's always stay in touch to have you come back on. Always appreciate you sharing your thoughts on the space. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you.